Here's some ideas to help you use up the scraps left over from your quilts. Everybody's been asking for scrappy ideas. Here's some of the things that I do so that I don't throw my fabric away in the landfill. Fabric is expensive and we are not wasting it. So I just finished the top of my nebula quilt right here. That pattern calls for a lot of half rectangle triangles. So the stuff that you cut off, I've been sewing them together and trimming them up into little blocks like this. I had so many that I was able to finish up putting them all together like this and not a quilt size, but it's still a good size. I could easily turn that into a throw pillow, like an envelope style quilted throw pillow. That would be adorable. I don't have purple in my house. It's just not my color, but it would be super cute. I could also turn that into a tote bag. I could turn it into a couple zippered makeup pouches. I could add a couple borders to it and make a cute little baby quilt for my baby niece. I could use it as the seat to an upholstered chair. Like the possibilities are endless. So let me show you one other idea. So as a quilt pattern designer, I probably run into this a little bit more than you all do, but sometimes when I write patterns, the math works out, sometimes it doesn't. It works out in theory, but then when you actually sew it together, it doesn't work out. Is it half an inch? Is it five eighths an inch? Sometimes you need it to be like very precise and you have to try a bunch of tests. So this is one of the tests that I did for that nebula quilt. This is that half rectangle triangle that I just talked about having to cut off. So I sewed all of these together into that purple one. But this is one of the tests. I have so many of those from different quilts. But even if you're not a pattern designer, sometimes you just mess up on a block or you have to redo it. It didn't turn out exactly how you want it and you end up redoing it. Maybe you did it a little bit wrong for the pattern, but it's still usable fabric. And so you just set it aside. So I've been setting mine aside into this kind of orphan block pile. I have way more than this. I don't have quite enough for a whole quilt, but one day my plan is when I do have enough to use up the scraps that I have as well as these orphan blocks. And I'll be making a crazy scrappy kind of quilt made out of orphan blocks. I love scrappy quilts. I don't know if you do, but I love them, especially if they're totally chaotic and I have to search for what is the pattern or how does that go together? Those are my favorite kind of quilts. Okay, here's another idea. I have spent years and years adding to this project. This is a hexi quilt that I have been using made up of all of the scraps from my other quilts. Maybe not all, but a lot of the scraps from my other quilts or other sewing projects. Now my carpal tunnel has gotten kind of bad, so I only pull it out maybe once a month to work on it for just a little bit, but one day that'll end up being a quilt. In the meantime, it just lives in the tote. Okay, here's another. If you have some of these long stringy kind of scraps, those are perfect for string quilts. So I've started putting together blocks like this. They're sewn directly onto the batting. You can put them together with sashing or you can put them together in a traditional kind of way. I'm just doing a good zigzag across them. And then I'll just make sure everything's really stuck down when I do all my quilting onto my backing and I can just long arm all of those seams. They're not gonna come apart. So I make a block using the strip and flip method and then I just put a few of them together and I think I'm gonna be having them color themes like this. And that just lives in the tote also. Okay, last one. You know when you have to snowball the corners of a block and you end up with all of these little corners that you cut off like this? I've been sewing them together into little half square triangle kind of things. Sometimes I don't have it connected, but it's just a corner I've cut off. So I've saved little triangles and I slowly, very slowly work on those. So all of my quilts end up with fabric that's left over and I put it together like this. My plan is to use some white fabric like this and put it together with some sashing and then have it be like this totally chaotic, crazy colored quilt that's all put together with the white lattice. So one day we will have some time to sit down and work on that. So there you go. Those are some scrappy ideas. That's what I do with my scraps. I do save them color coordinated into little totes in case I want to go back and find something. I have them all sitting under my long arm and they're just kind of color coordinated like that. So blues or blacks or greens or pinks. So I do have lots of possibilities for if I need to plug a little color into something or if I just feel like playing around with them one day and doing a crazy quilt, I can totally grab from those. But as far as scrappy quilts, those are some of the ideas that I like.